Hey, what's up you guys? Yes, you're probably thinking, Shane, why did you just wave at us with one hand? Usually you wave at us with both. It's because my other hand has a cat in it. <laughs> now you guys probably already know Cheeto because I showed him in another video. He is trying to get away from me as fast as he can. He's screaming. But yes, this is my new best friend. <laughs> he loves me. That's I love you and cat. Uh, yes, I've already introduced you guys to Cheeto. He is, um, wait, show them how much you love me. I've never heard that noise. He just threw up on me. He's actually throwing up. Okay, down. Anyways, yes, that is the new love of my life. So yes, my life obviously has had a big change in it recently with this cat and not just because of that. <sighs> so there's been a lot going on uh, with this cat that I have not talked to you guys about, mainly because it has been really, really confusing and really incredibly depressing. But before I get into all that, first off, let me explain why I got a cat. <laughs> so me and Rylan felt like Uno needed a friend. Um, you know, like we hang out with him and stuff, but when we go to work, he's here all alone. I mean, besides, you know, the ghosts and demons that live in the house. But besides that, he's alone. And every time I take him to my mom's house and she has dogs and cats, he like has so much fun and he loves the cats at my mom's house, loves them. So we thought, well, maybe we could get a cat for Uno to be friends with because I could not have two dogs in this house. So we had been talking about this for like months. And then we went to an animal shelter and I was not expecting to fall in love with a cat, but I fucking did. And then we left the shelter with a cat named Bubba and the guy at the shelter goes, oh, you're not gonna change his name, right? And I said, no, uh, changed his fucking name right away. <laughs> and they gave him to us in a um, fucking box. <laughs> Almost like he was, you know, like a pair of shoes or like trash. <laughs> Uh, no, I'm just kidding. They were really, really great at the animal shelter. And uh, yeah, they gave them to us in a box. And then we took them home and I was just a big old excited bitch. <laughs> Guys, oh my God, I'm carrying Cheeto right now into the house. He's gonna meet Uno for the first time. I'm terrified. I don't know how we're gonna do this. I think what we're gonna do is open up this box in my office and like let him like chill and run around and get to know the space and then bring Uno in. And hopefully Uno doesn't eat him. So then we decide to bring the box into my office and put it on the couch and we were terrified because we didn't really know what was gonna happen. We didn't know if Uno was going to eat him <laughs> or like maybe there wouldn't even be a cat in the box. Maybe they actually did give us trash. Either way, I was excited. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Are you ready? Okay, Cheeto. Hi, baby. Hi, Cheeto. Oh my God, I'm gonna cry. This is your new home, baby. Come on, Cheeto, come on, say come on. hi. Oh my God. I love him so much. If it's summertime, he's a hot Cheeto. Oh, if he gets fat, he's a puffy Cheeto. If Uno eats him, he's a crunchy Cheeto. Oh my god, this is his new spot, bitch. This is his new spot. He's gonna be in my conspiracy videos. He's my conspiracy cat. He's a cat spiracy. So then after we let Cheeto out of the box, we decided that it was time for Uno to come into the room and meet him and I was fucking terrified. Cheeto is two years old. We rescued him. That's all we know. <laughs> he's a boy and he's neutered. And he's neutered, his name is Cheeto. Oh my God, I love you. I love you so much. Do you think he's gonna like Uno? I don't know, I guess we'll find out. Oh my God, he's so cute. All right, we're gonna let Uno in. Oh my God, I'm scared. Oh my God, I love him so much. Okay. He's all like, right. the fuck, the fuck. Be nice, be gentle. He's our new member of our family. Oh my god, I'm having a heart attack. I am too. Wait, Here. he seems fine. Sit, Uno. I don't think Uno's realized that he's up there yet. Oh my god. Okay. It's like, oh my god, it's like a romance movie. Hey. Dude, Cheeto has no fucks. Cheeto's like, I'm the queen of this house. Cheeto gives no hey. fucks. Hey, 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 Uno. Baby, sit. Thank you, good boy. Thanks for listening to that. Okay, do you want to meet Cheeto? Hey, no, no, no. I'm gonna come up here so I can take care of you. Come on. Okay. okay. This is. Oh my God. Oh, no. Ooh, ooh. Uh oh. Oh it's no. It's just a first meeting. It's okay, okay. Okay. They're gonna be best friends. Come now, sit. Hey. Oh my God. Hey. <laughs> oh my God. Hey. Cheeto's okay. making noises. Okay. Let's let let's let this. <laughs> <laughs> so then Uno and Cheeto just kind of like stared at each other for a long time. Like it almost felt like like a Nicki Minaj, Remy Ma thing, you know, like who's the queen of rap? Like who's the queen of my house? Like there was obviously beef in the room and I was just waiting with my popcorn to see what would happen. <laughs> I want their first interaction to be joyous. Okay, I don't know if that's gonna happen. <laughs> it took my mom's cat like a long time. Oh my God. It's okay. When I when this happened in my family, the cat hid under the bed for a week, so. Right. Now they're best friends though. So it felt like it was kind of going good for like a second, and then Remy and Nikki got into a fight. Cheetos grumbling. <laughs> Uno wants to eat him. Oh my god! Oh my god, oh my god that did not go well. 
That didn't go well. In case you missed how much of a fucking little bitch I was, let's play that clip in slow motion. Oh my God! Yeah, that's, that's, that's me. <laughs> so then after the two queens of rap were going at it, uh, we had to do some research to find out how to make them friends and not fucking kill each other. We're currently watching videos on how to introduce your dog to your cat. <laughs> <laughs> so what do we do? It says we just have to take it slow and let the cat choose to meet the dog. But the dog has to be on a leash. Well, Cheetos gives no fucks. <laughs> Until Uno got close. He's dangerously cheesy. And then something kind of crazy happened. I have never been a cat person. I've always been a dog person. Like the only time I ever even connected to a cat was when I saw one dead on the street because I'd be like, fucking me. But besides that, like I've never had an emotional connection to a cat. I don't know what happened in this moment, but I literally became like soulmates with this fucking cat. Like I actually really fucking fell in love with this cat. And here's like the moment where it happened. <laughs> He loves me. Oh my god. Cheeto, I love you. Hey, Cheeto. Oh my god. Mm. Oh my god, I'm gonna fucking bust. I can't take this. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh. Oh. I can't wait for Uno to be here. And then we'll all lay together. And I'll be like one of those crazy old people that's covered in animals. <laughs> So then something happened after that that um, felt like the beginning of something bad. So basically, Ryland started getting um, like hives on his arms and he started like sneezing and his eyes got red and uh, we both were like, oh my God, are you allergic? Okay, update, there is a chance that Ryland is allergic, <laughs> which is not good because I love Cheetos so much. So you think you're allergic? I hope not. So what do you feel? Well, I have a big, like, red rash on the back of my neck, and I got all itchy, and my nose is all stuffed up. And it's after I was petting him, so I'm scared. Well, go see him again. He misses you. <laughs> so then Riley went into the room with Cheeto and kind of, like, sat with him and tried to play with him. And the whole time that was happening, I just knew. I was like, oh my god, fuck. I'm already, like, so attached to this fucking cat, and I'm gonna have to get rid of this cat, and it's literally going to, like, fuck me up. And not, like, in the fun way that kids say. Like, it's not gonna fuck me up. Like, this is actually going to emotionally <laughs> fuck me up. So then I started doing some research, and I found that there was a shampoo that if you wash your cat with, it can make people who are allergic less allergic. So I tried to give him a bath, which was a bad idea. So I gave him a bath and he fucking hates me. <laughs> he hates showers just like his dad. <laughs> Bitch, I know. Fucking me. Me in the shower. <laughs> <laughs> so then after the bath, um, Ryland was still like breaking out and stuff. So he went upstairs and um, I just sat downstairs with Cheeto and got more fucking attached to him. Ryland's plan was to go to the doctor the next day and get an allergy test and see if he is actually allergic or maybe there's a pill he could take. So until then he was just going to like not really touch the cat and um, I was going to kind of be like the mommy. Well then Cheeto started feeling so fucking at home here. Bitch even did a house tour. Yes. Bitch, give us a house tour, queen. That's outside, we never go out there. That's the fridge, we always go in there. And that's the couch, that's where we live. <laughs> he's touring the house. He's doing a morning routine, his first morning routine. Look how happy he is, he's wagging his tail. So since Cheeto was more comfortable in the house, I was like, okay, let's try to make him and Uno friends now. Like they've had a little time to cool off. Like Remy went to her side, Nikki went to hers. Like the beef has been squashed. And the whole time um, I was having an actual fucking panic attack. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I'd rather lick my dick. <laughs> come on, you guys can lick your dicks together. Sit. Oh my god. Sit. Oh my god. Oh my god. No, come here. Okay, okay. Damn. He's like, get on my level, bitch. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Oh my god. Nice. Oh my god. I'm hey, gonna. Hey. I'm freaking out. Well, if he jumps up, that's gonna scare Cheeto. Okay. Sit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Okay. Oh my god. This is so hey, cute. I think they're okay. I... Cheeto gets no fucks. No, Cheeto keeps going. Well, Cheetah's trying to say hi, but also bye and get away from me. <laughs> oh no, oh no. Oh my god. Be nice, be nice, calm. Calm? Okay, ah! okay, that was that fine, was that was good, that was good. Here, let me... Oh my god, oh my god, they're gonna be friends. Oh my god, it's like Mean Girls, like Regina George, Lindsay Lohan. <laughs> that gay guy. Who am I? The lesbian. <laughs> oh my god, oh my god, I'm gonna cry, I'm so happy. But then, like, slowly but surely, they started really getting along, and it was the fucking cutest thing I've ever seen in my life.
<laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, they're friends! And then they started playing a lot, and they've been like running around the house and licking each other's asses. It's like fucking couple goals. They love each other. Oh, they know I caught them. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Name a better love story than this, I'll wait. Then Uno got too close, and uh, it pissed the bitch off. <laughs> Ooh, Uno, better watch the fuck out. <laughs> oh shit, now you scarred? Now you scarred? <laughs> but then after that, they just became like obsessed with each other. Update, I'm gonna die. Oh my god. Oh, I fucked it up, I ruined it. Ah, oh, fuck. Well, it was cute while it lasted. And then it got even cuter, and they even started kissing. <sighs> Oh my god, oh, I'm gonna cry, I love it, I love it so much. Ah, oh, I fucked it up again! Then they even started sleeping in the same bed and like, I think fucking? <laughs> Are they having sex? Why is that us? <laughs> <laughs> like, things were going so good until I asked them to share food and uh, they weren't fucking having that. <laughs> okay guys, it's Sunday, which means it's time for a treat. I got you guys a puppuccino! <laughs> Which dad has quickly uh, let me know is a scam and fraudulent. Well, yeah, it's from Starbucks, so he's not being true to the puppuccino, and this is coffee bean. Well, it's just fucking whipped cream, that's all it is. That's what we've learned, correct. But Listen, I want them to have a real normal childhood. They're not getting name brands, bitch. They're getting coffee bean. Coffee bean is a name brand. She's the sad... <laughs> Tacky ass sister to Starbucks. We drink coffee bean every day. I know, bitch. I'm relating to her. Guys, puppuccino, puppuccino. Hey, 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 puppuccino. Wait, Cheeto, look, food, food. Cheeto, food, Cheeto, food, food. No, 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 don't leave me. Don't leave me, food. Oh, he's fucking with it. <laughs> you see, Uno ate it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, Uno. Let, I keep wanting to call him Oreo. Let Oreo have some. <laughs> Ugh, this is literally me and you at a restaurant trying to share food. <laughs> and you're like, let me taste it. I want to get the flavors. And I'm like, bitch, let me fuck it up. All right, let Uno back in. All right, Uno, come on in. Get that long tongue in there, bitch. Oh my god, yes. Ugh, I love a pet mukbang. No, look it off. No, I was trying. That was really <laughs> <laughs> me. So while all of this was happening over the course of like a week, it was also really, really fucking hard. I didn't film um, like the sad stuff because that would be weird. But while all of this was happening and while they were getting really close and while I was getting really close to Cheeto, um, we were also dealing with uh, the whole Ryland thing. So he went to the allergy doctor and they did tell him that he was allergic to cats, which is so fucking weird because he has never been allergic to cats before, but I guess now he is. So during that week, we were gonna try to figure out what we were gonna do because Ryland was going to start taking allergy shots, which is like a whole process. Like you have to take them every week for like years and there's a chance it might not even work and he'd have to take a pill every single day. And I, of course, don't want him to like live like that or be constantly afraid of getting sick in his own house because like every night for like the first four days he was just covered in fucking like shit i even thought of a plan that was so fucking crazy i was like okay <laughs> what if i get an apartment for like filming videos and like cheeto could stay there <laughs> And then like, I'll go there every day and I'll hang out with them and then I'll come home. And then I'm like, that's actually crazy. <laughs> but I was just like desperate. I mean, literally two nights ago when me and Riley were uh, laying in bed, we were talking about what we were gonna do. And uh, there were a couple options were take him back to the shelter, which um, I just didn't wanna do, or give him to a friend because all of our friends are obsessed with him or have Rylan take all these pills and be on all this medicine for fucking who knows how long. And just the idea of getting rid of this cat who I like formed this fucking crazy bond with, I started crying harder than I think I've ever cried to a point where um, I think it scared him. <laughs> I think it scared Cheeto. Cheeto was like, girl, I ain't better touch. <laughs> That's a clinger. <laughs> uh, no, I was like actually devastated. I cried for like an hour and um, it was really, really fucking hard. But then something kind of crazy happened. We woke up the next morning and Rylan didn't have any bumps or anything. And then the next morning he had like a little one, but that was it. And now today um, he hasn't had anything. And we've been hanging out with the cat all day. So this is a clip from earlier today when we were talking about it. And um, 
Yeah, check it out. Okay guys, so it's been almost a week and Rylan has not had any breakouts or hives or rashes. Okay, that's a lie. The other night I had a huge rash all over my knee. That was ringworm. But no, it wasn't. <laughs> there were literal bump. I took pictures. I have receipts. <laughs> I thought I was gonna have to give them away, but today I was holding him. I haven't broken out at all. So maybe it was because he was really sick. Maybe I was allergic to his sickness. Also, you're acting like I'm the only one obsessed with this cat. What was my idea to get a cat? You didn't even want a cat at first, and I made you get a cat because I was like, Uno needs a friend. But I'm not like, you're acting like I'm the crazy one that's like obsessed with the cat. You're obsessed with the cat too. I do love the cat, but you have like this bond with the cat that I never expected that's like a little bit scary because he's like your child and you're obsessed with him. If I it too. came down to you versus the cat. <laughs> no, you already said if we had to get rid of him, we will. That's very, very last resort. If I start like not being able to breathe because we we have a cat in this house, then we're gonna have to get rid of him. But right now it looks like we're gonna be able to keep him. Also, I grew up with cats my entire life, so I never thought this would be an issue until I started not being able to function with a cat in the house. So guys, there you go. I think Cheeto might stay with us. He does not care. <laughs> no fucks, no fucks. But I'm excited. So yeah, I think we're gonna keep Cheeto. I think, I don't know. I'm still gonna give it like another week. Um, If all the bumps and fucking all the other shit comes back, we need to figure it out because I don't want Rylan living in like bad health. But as of now, pretty sure that Cheeto is going to stay and uh, it makes me so happy. I don't know why I love this cat so much. It's really fucking weird. This cat has not left my side in like uh, how, uh, over a week. So there you guys go. That is the full story of Cheeto and how we got him and why. Why I haven't really talked about him that much in videos, but um, I really, really hope it works out, and um, I hope we get to keep him because I, I just really, really, really love this cat, and he loves Uno so much, and Uno loves him. Remy and Nikki, they got back together. <laughs> So guys, say welcome to Cheeto Dawson. Hopefully he's gonna be here for a long, long time. Oh my God, I love him so much. He actually does love me. He doesn't like the camera, but he actually does love me. That was not convincing. All right, you guys, hopefully you enjoyed uh, that video. I know this was kind of different. I've never really done a video like this, but if you liked it and you want more of like these talking and then vlogging, whatever, give me a thumbs up so I know. And make sure to subscribe to my channel right down below and hit the notification bell because I make new videos every day. All right, you guys, me and Cheeto and Uno, we'll see you tomorrow.